any men who have a uterus could menstruate. A man has an XY. <laughs> These people. These people. Oh my lord. Oh. Invasion of the body snatchers. That's what we're witnessing right now. Listen to this again, man. Talking about menstruation. And it's walking around in the streets asking people if men can menstruate. And of course, the ones that think men can menstruate look like this. Low cut. Looking all like she's got like an identity crisis. That's a student. This is why the manufacturer is Marxist. From the education system. This is what they do. That's why when you send your kids to college, they, especially the girls, they go as feminine, nice, young, beautiful girls. And then after a year later, they've cut their hair off, they've painted their hair pink or purple or blue to fight the patriarchy because they've been programmed. They programmed them. The school system right now is a manufacturing ground for Marxists. That's what it is. Watch. Men who have a uterus could menstruate. A man has an XY. Sorry, be so rude. I, I apologize. Oh, Mr. T. You're incorrect. Because we're talking about anatomy, biology. Like, if you were to have surgery, they need to know what sex you are. So women... That's why she ran off. Oh, no, oh, 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 of course, she walks away. That's what they teach them. That's what they teach them. Marxism 101. If you can't get your point across by force, walk away. What... what See, see how the mind of this Hitler youth, a.k.a. modern-day Marxist, see how their mind works. When they go to school, to universities and colleges, they teach them how to fortify their mental faculty, how to build a wall around their mental faculty, a wall of their own illusion, their own perception of reality. They build that fence around their minds they fortify it so much to the point where a single drop of reasoning can't penetrate that wall. And if you're trying to break down that wall with common sense, they recline, they walk away, or they fight back physically. Like the Antifa. So this is them. They will walk away if you're trying to reason. Once they realize you're trying to break down that wall, you're chipping in on that fence, they will walk away, they will run away. Or they'll start yelling insults at you and then turn it into a uh, violent altercation of words. Because at that point now, emotions are flying all over the place. You're not uh, focused enough on the point you're trying to put across. They distract you with words and name calling. That's, that's what they do now. They've weaponized racism. They've weaponized anti-Semitism. They've weaponized what else have they weaponized now? Uh... Toxic masculinity, they just throw words around to throw you off your game when you're trying, when you're successfully penetrating that wall. Delusional wall. This is very serious what's going on in America. They are indoctrinating students to go against their parents. And this is Marxism. This is Mark, Mr. T is right. This is Marxism. This is Mar Marx. The school system is just an indoctrination ground for kids. If you've got kids now and you can't homeschool them, send them to trade school or something. They're going to get worthless degrees anyways. <laughs> you're paying, you're putting your kids going into debts, serious debts, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debts to get brainwashed and to come back home from school holidays and talk to you like crap. Because now they think, oh, my parents are racist blah, 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 because they think they, because they might have a different political leaning towards their liberal kids. Because if they if you're not liberal, oh, you're racist now. You're misogynistic. You're xenophobic. You're all the Eastern phobes. They indoctrinate them. They're indoctrinating students to go against their parents. And this is Marxism. This is socialism. I'm very familiar with it. And I want everybody to educate themselves. Any men who have a uterus could menstruate. Hey, this is a beautiful girl. This is a, this is a beautiful girl. But what they teach them in school, one, the first thing to avert the male gaze or cut your hair off, they purposely make themselves look ugly because they're fighting the patriarchy. <laughs> God, we're 
we're in trouble as a society. We're in serious trouble.